followers of Islam and Christianity fought in Jerusalem at the beginning of the Crusades, almost 900 years ago, when Jerusalem and all the Holy Land were contested by Christian and Muslim. Our story of the Crusades begins in 1071, when Jerusalem was taken by Asiatic tribesmen known as Seljuk Turks, who were newly converted to Islam. Soon the Turks controlled a large portion of the Near East and had conquered most of the Asiatic lands of the Byzantine Empire, a Christian state. In Constantinople, capital of the empire, Alexius, the emperor and effective head of the church in the east, wished to reconquer his lost territories. So he sent ambassadors to Christian Europe to request military aid. In March of 1095, the head of the church in the west, Pope Urban II, received these ambassadors. He was already troubled about conditions in the Near East, for he had heard terrifying rumors about horrible atrocities committed upon Christians by the Seljuk Turks. With such reports of massacred Christians in the Holy Land possibly in mind, Urban, late in 1095, traveled to the city of Clermont in France. In an open field outside the city, Pope Urban first preached a crusade to the Holy Land, a holy war. It was an inspired sermon, as reported by an eyewitness, Robert the Monk. Robert has left us an invaluable record of the sermon in this medieval manuscript housed in the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. By searching such original sources and by studying actual locales, historians are able to reconstruct the events of the Crusades. <laughs> 